So therefore, when people talk to me about the Internet of Things and connectivity and data-driven performance in their business and, and the fact that staff are having to upskill onto using new technologies. You know, here's a classic example from the world of sport where what you have to do to drive a Formula One car today is completely different to a Jackie Stewart or a James Hunt. Or So last year, um, we had a 17-year-old driver in Formula One called Max Verstappen, and he has an amazing season. So at a press conference in September, one of the journalists said to him, Max, you do such an amazing job. You know, how come you can do this at the age of 17 and you've never actually raced in Formula One? And he said, well, he said, that's actually not quite true. He said, I've actually done the Italian Grand Prix about three and a half thousand times. He said, the only difference between this and the PlayStation is I can't turn damage off. <laughs> <laughs> this year, 2016, we had the most events in the, that we've ever had, 21 Grand Prix. Only a third of them are in Europe. Two thirds of them are now outside Europe. And all of those governments are paying that kind of money. And that's how we have replaced the broken model of sponsorship. Bernie now, of course, benefit to him is he takes all the money in, of course. Uh, last year it was 1.5 billion. And then he divides that money very equally with the uh, 11 teams. They get half and uh, he keeps the other half. <laughs> so therefore the reason why he won five consecutive world championship titles for Ferrari wasn't that he was the greatest driver in the world. Of course he was one of the best. It was the fact that that team gave him the best product in the world to do the job with. See, there's nothing like watching brilliance and seeing what you can take from it. It was great to hear and whilst it's a really high-tech business Formula One, it, it, it's really transferable to all businesses really. I thought it was an absolutely great event. Motivational speaker, there's so much that we took back from that. And um, lovely breakfast and a great opportunity to network on it as well. I thought it was, um, it was very interesting. It's always good to hear people's stories from different industries.
So if you if you take all the top teams in Formula One, you know, Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren, Williams, etc., they all have great technology. They all have amazing facilities, great factories. So what is it that actually defines the winner? It's not that they've got bigger technology than anyone else or more money. It's actually got to do with how the people have worked together to innovate, to develop these great products. So I, I'm a real believer that success comes from unleashing the potential of the people who work for you. And that means employing the right people. Of course, that's a really important point. Employing the right people, having the right skills, and then, and then just getting to work together and having the right culture, you know? So once you can get that flowing, it's amazing what you can uh, achieve.